in a couple of weeks. The NFL regular season will begin. And shortly after that, about a month, the NHL season will start. And at the same time, Major League Baseball will begin their playoffs. It's a very exciting time of year if you're a sports fan. But one of the things that has always bothered me about sports fans is that many of us not only root for a team, but have this tendency to actively root against other teams. Some people get very animated when it comes to rooting for and against a particular team. I've caught myself doing this on many occasions, and it occurs to me that that is an indication that the team is what's important, not the sport. That many of us are team fans rather than sports fans or team followers rather than sports followers. What I find very interesting about all of this is that when watching two rival teams play each other, the competition is fierce. But after the game, I'm amazed at how many of the players on opposite teams appear to be good friends, congratulating and encouraging each other and complimenting each other's efforts. Now, I know there are exceptions, but this tends to be the norm. They love the sport, and they celebrate any good game. It reminds me of the Corinthian church. People were arguing over who was better, Paul or Apollos. And Paul's response was to say that the only thing that mattered was that the kingdom of God was being advanced. If you love football, then you should want all the teams to play well, thus attracting more people to football. If you love God, you should want all of his followers, regardless of which church or denomination they belong to, to thrive, thus attracting more people to God. So would you say that you're a church follower or a Christ follower?